Giriannis uh, ministers, uh, professors, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good day to everybody. It's a great pleasure for me to participate on this opening of the week dedicated to collectively tackling marine litter. Marine litter is the clearest and very sad symbol of our resource inefficient economy. It reflects inadequate waste management on land and highlights lost opportunities, the use to use more smartly the materials we have available. We estimate that around 70 to 80 percent of marine litter comes from the sources on land, as you have already heard. To see real and tangible results, we thus need to address the problem at source. And this is exactly what I aim at doing with the package of measures I will put forward later this year. The objective is to transform the way we think about what today we call waste, to move away from a cycle of purchase, consume, throw away, and instead drive the reuse and recycling of materials. In doing so, we will move towards a truly circular economy, where waste stops being a problem and becomes a valuable resource. The measures proposed will also include a specific headline target for marine litter reduction within the European Union. In bringing forward such a target, we will show global leadership translating into action the call from the UN's Rio Plus 20 conference to significantly reduce marine debris by 2025. At the same time, we can also lead by example in practical ways. I know that some of you took part in the first European cleanup day last Saturday. The success of the initiative demonstrates citizens' desire to have a clean and healthy environment, and I hope we will have an even bigger event next year and beyond. However, cleanup days alone cannot deliver the healthy marine environment which citizens have a right to expect. We need systematic solutions to drive our actions forward. The will and the desire are there. Last year, I co-hosted a conference on marine litter in Berlin that called for strong action including at regional level to tackle the issue head on. The HOPE Marine Conference we hosted in Brussels in March and the declaration which followed it also demonstrated that there is a strong will to make a real difference. Some of the ministers present highlighted it as a key challenge and it is. This is why European Union Marine, litter strate marine strate Strategy Framework Directive addresses marine litter through a holistic approach. Its overall objective is to reach good environmental status in European seas by 2020. We are now halfway between the adoption of this directive and the 2020 goal, and member states have completed the first round of implementation. Our assessment of this exercise was published in February, and the results painted a mixed picture. Although the exercise has helped us better understand the state of our marine environment, it has also highlighted how far we must go if we are to reach our goals. It is without any doubt clear that the actions we take, both to monitor our seas and to address the pressures they face, must be coordinated if we are to be effective. The regional sea conventions have also an important role to play in supporting these efforts. It is very encouraging that the Barcelona Convention is the first of the four European Regional Sea Conventions to adopt an action plan on marine litter. Now it is vital to put the plan into practice and indeed to develop coordinated actions at the sub-regional level as you are doing here in Adriatic. I hope that the positive experience here in the Mediterranean serve as an example to the European marine regions. Of course, the private sector will have to be part of the solution. And with nearly 60% of our plastic being in the form of packaging, the packaging industry has a vital role to play also. Packaging, it's very important, but we must use it 
more wisely, avoid it where superfluous, promoting reuse where practical, and ensuring that it is recyclable. Single-use plastic carrier bags are an obvious example. As you might be aware, the Commission recently tabled a proposal to reduce the use of these bags, which far too often end up in the marine environment. It will be for the member states to decide how best to do this. But our message is clear. The lack of action is not an option. Ladies and gentlemen, we all have a role to play, by which I mean the people in this room, in our daily approach to rubbish on land, the fishermen and other carrying out activities at sea, public authorities in their planning and policy making, and private industry in the goods they produce and also pack. On Wednesday, I will meet ministers from the European Union member states. My message to them will be a simple one. We cannot hope to realize the full economic potential of our seas if we are not capable of safeguarding them first. Addressing marine litter, it's a core part of this responsibility. On that note, let me wish you the very best for your discussions in the days ahead. I'm convinced that through exchanges such as this one, through increased cooperation, but most importantly, through concrete actions, we can together have a real impact in the fight to rid our seas of the scourge of the marine litter. Thank you for your attention.